you were busy going to not busy in my history Monday, August 1st, 2016, City Council meeting to order. Please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Here. Alderman Glab? Here. Alderman Schaefer? Here. Alderman Curry? Here. Alderman Wimmer? Here. Alderman Peterson? Here. Alderman Condit? Here. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The City of McHenry's mis mission statement is as follows. The City of McHenry is dedicated to providing its citizens, businesses, and visitors with the highest quality of programs and services in a customer-oriented, efficient, and fiscally responsible manner. The first item on our agenda this evening is the public comment portion of the meeting. Um, 
Mrs. Tiffany, I see that you signed in, and I'll give you the option. You're, you're here to talk about a specific item. You can either address us now, or you can wait until the item comes up on the agenda, whichever well, you prefer. I think it would be entirely up to you. I can do it now, or I can wait. Well, if you'd like to do it now, please do it. get it out of the way? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I was reading your mind. <laughs> OK. And please, uh, when you get up to the podium, just state your name and address if you are sure. so inclined. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Charlene Tiffany. I live at 4411 Home Avenue, right here in McHenry, Illinois. And I love it. <laughs> uh, I am here to discuss the uh, idea of Stella's Place opening where the dry cleaners used to be up in the marketplace. I believe you have the 200, 200, two pages of signatures that I have gathered from all the people. Okay. Um, I'm speaking for all of them, not just myself. Of all the people that signed it, most of the comments I heard were not another one. We have enough of that in McHenry now. We really don't think there should be any more. Again, that's the video gamble, of course. Uh, they actually, taught me about how many there were already in the city of McKinley. I know that a lot of people enjoy video gambling, and you know that's up to you if that's how you like to spend your time. I have never done it. Maybe that's wrong. I don't think so. But um, they educated me as far as how many there were. I had no idea until I started checking it out. Um, the comments, like I said, were very clear. They don't want any anymore in the city of McHenry, and I only went in my immediate area, as you can tell from the addresses of the signatures that are on the sheets. If you don't have a copy, I have a copy here for you, <coughs> if you'd like one. Um, do you have any questions? None at all, huh? Not even what my phone number is? <laughs> <laughs> Typically, during public input, we don't. Uh, I know, I know. I'm just being a smart aleck. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> I thank you for your patience and uh, attention and understanding. Thank and you I very hope much. That you agree. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No one else has signed in for the purpose of addressing the council in public <coughs> comment. Is there anyone else who wishes to do that at this time? See no one, then we'll move on to the uh, consent agenda. Looking for a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Alderman Wimmer? Let's make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there a second? Alderman Condon? <coughs> Any discussion? Alderman Wimmer? Nothing. Alderman Peterson? I have no questions. Alderman Condon? No questions. Alderman Santee? I have no questions. Alderman Glatt? Nothing. Alderman Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? Just a curious question. On the uh, item D, the in pipe technology, we list savings of $7,000 chemical usage, but we also talk about some other things. Do you have any idea how much, I assume we're obviously money ahead. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely money ahead. Um, I, I don't have those numbers in front of me right now. I mean, is it significant? Or yes. It um, is and we, do, we designed the new addition with this in pipe technology in mind also. Okay. Thank you. We can provide some additional information. Just curious. Any further discussion on the consent agenda? Seeing none, please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Motion carried. The next item on the agenda is a motion to approve an ordinance granting a conditional use permit to allow a tavern at 2816 West Route 120 doing business as Uprooted Restaurant. Doug? Thank you, Mayor. Council is being asked to consider a conditional use permit for a tavern for the property at 2816 West Route 120. I just before I look for a motion on this item, I'd just like to comment that I did go to Uprooted and um, look at the work that has been done so far. It is absolutely beautiful. They've done a wonderful job with the, the tavern area. Um, the petitioners are here this evening and it, it was way more involved, I think, than anyone would have anticipated. So their desire is to get the front part portion of the business open, and their intention is absolutely to complete the restaurant portion. 
You'll, you'll just be amazed when you see it. It's it's a very beautiful job that they did on, on this restaurant, or on this building. So um, that being said, I'm looking for a motion on this item. Alderman Santee? I will make the motion to approve the ordinance granting a, granting a <coughs> conditional use permit to allow Tavern at 2817 West Route 120. 16. Uh, sorry, 2816 West Route 120. Um, is this uprooted restaurant as presented? Thank you. Is there a second to this motion? Alderman Cotton? Discussion, Alderman Santee? Um, like you too, Mayor, I've, I've gone to visit um, along with Bantam in there and working with some other people. Um, probably the first time was sometime in the winter and just kind of walked in, wished them the best of luck. And, and, and then the last time I walked in there, I, I mean, I just, I did see some very good looking design and and uh, and woodwork and glass that you've done in the front section and it's only the front section and um, you know if, if, if that continues to the, to the back end of the building where, where most of the the restaurant area will will, uh, will be established it, uh, it, it just looks like a, just a great start to a, a, just a long-term outstanding business on the east side of town that's all I have, thank you. Thank you, Alderman Glad. Yeah, I'll agree. Uh, <clears throat> there's no, no uh, doubt the fact that uh, this building has sat empty for the last several years and it's growing more and more dilapidated uh, over time and uh, it's nice to see somebody coming into that uh, place with a full line establishment uh, plans and uh, wish you well. Thank you, Alderman Schaefer. Did we have a uh, already a conditional use that was set for this that we agreed to, or is this this is all brand new, or is it just changing it from restaurant to tavern? It's it's allowing him to open as a tavern only at this time. There was a conditional use permit approved for a restaurant slash bar. So in order to make sure that it's clarified that it's solely opening as a tavern first. He's uh, obtaining a conditional use for a tavern at this time with the intention of opening as a restaurant. The aforementioned uh, ordinance was approved when the property was annexed in 96. So is, is that <coughs> one obsolete then, so to speak, or are they both running continuously? How does that work? Yeah, they both, they're both, in, they both run together. So the, the conditional use in 96 was approved with conditions to allow certain uh, uses on the property, which are still allowed. There's no restriction as to time or when they expire. Okay, thank you. Alderman Curry? Uh, yes. Uh, and so much of Alderman Schaefer's questions. The conditional use, I, I guess the question is, I understand that the owners have every intention to open a restaurant. I understand it looks like it's going to be a great facility and so forth. What, what I'm struggling with is that why we're, why we're not issuing this as a temporary use since, for example, that we're about to look at a sign variance, which is only good for a year, and there every intention within, I think, three to five months, it says, of opening a restaurant. Why wouldn't a temporary use as a tavern solve the problem without creating a permanent situation? It, it could. This is just another option. Uh, and a condition on, or a time restriction could also be placed on a conditional use. Okay, so, but if we approve a conditional use without time restriction as is presented, um, then in the future, say the current owners, you know, at some point in the future leave, somebody else comes in, it could be simply a tab tavern then because they're already approved. It could be. There are uh, specifications in the zoning ordinance whereby the council could revoke a conditional use permit. So that, that's an option. Uh, if, if what you stated happens, there are options in the zoning ordinance. But we would have to bring that back. I, I guess I'm, I'm just wondering why we just didn't put it for a year and... and uh, I, I think the best answer is I, I don't, while the applicants is three to five months, sometimes they run into, you know, on, on issues they weren't expecting. So I didn't, sure. instead of guessing at, at the amount of time, and, and then coming back, because we've run into that in the past, and, and guessed for the wrong length of time, that's... Sure, but we could, we could make it two years for that matter. I mean, you know, it's, it's 
at least it, it eventually expires and it's not out there forever. I guess that's the problem I, I have with the rest of that sort of thing. Um, but we can put a time period on a condition of use? Yes. Rather than a condition of use. Okay. Just to, as a point of interest, Ross and uh, Doug and Derek and I talked quite at length about this and we we thought, all felt that this was the way to go. It's just just to let you know that it was discussed. Okay. Um, well, I again, I'm, I'm just not comfortable with the permanency of it. Um, so I move to amend this motion by inserting the following statement: This conditional use well, permit shall minute, expire one year. For, excuse me. Shall expire one year from the date of issuance unless extended by an act of city council. I don't, I'm getting clarification on whether you can do that. On, on what it's used for and if there's tables and that type of thing as far as what the building code states as far as occupancy. So I, I, can't, I can't say definitively if, if they open as a tavern now, they're only using a certain section of the building right. set up a certain way. You're adding tables, less people, uh, but more area, and then there's kitchen space. So I, we can, I don't have a definitive answer at this time. And this has a full-size kitchen, everything. It's, I mean, so it's going to be like we don't know. I mean, that's the plan. That's the plan. I just want to know what the plan is. I, you know, we don't have a layout that's going to have schematic or anything like that, but it's going to be a full size restaurant serving waitresses. Yes. You know, Dan, do you want to comment? Yes. <coughs> to, to add to that, so we, we have plans. We have some we plans. Have. Oh, there's yeah. there's oh, two okay. phases to the project uh, that they presented to us. So, right now, phase one. Uh, is the tavern, phase two is the restaurant. So there are a set of plans <laughs> that, that are in, uh, that the building department has for the second phase. It's, it's not something that, that, you know, is is hanging out there that we're waiting for. We have a set of plans in the building department. To answer maybe your question is, there is a occupancy limit right now. We are working to get city water and city sewer to increase the occupancy for the restaurant portion. So that's right now um, um, the city inspector and Black Diamond will be meeting tomorrow to discuss that because Black Diamond's guy that does this was on vacation last week. Otherwise, they were going to, you know, start it last week, you know. So that's why we are spending a lot of money getting the updated water and sewer so we can accommodate more people for the restaurant. So if we just wanted a bar, we could just say, well, the heck with spending another 35000 just on city water and city sewer. You know, actually it's going to be more than that, but um, that's why we're doing that, so we can make the restaurant so we can have more capacity. And that is a pretty big building, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Alderman Condon? I just, I see this as a means to helping a business uh, real, or a business open um, that was sitting empty, and from everything I've heard about it, the, the I, I was in the building years ago and only went once, and I know it needed to be redone, and so I, I appreciate all the work that's being done, and, and if it has to be done in phases, um, I, I think that's great. I, I hope that we, um, are perceived as a community that helps our businesses uh, grow, operate, and uh, meet their needs as well as meeting the city's needs. And uh, I look forward to having this um, finish up. Uh, another, just as a comment, um, 
I don't necessarily, I mean, obviously the intention is to have this open as a restaurant, but even if it wasn't, I don't see an issue with it because it would still be a, a business, uh, something that's operable and opening doors that was sitting empty before. So I don't really see it as a concern one way or another. Uh, just for clarification though, that um, if I understood everything that was set, said before, that once the restaurant was ready to open, the petitioner would not have to come back, correct? Because it, it was because of the 96 agreement. Correct, correct. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. All right, thank you, that's all. The only other comment I'll make that took place during our discussion was if we impose a time limit and he can't meet it, we're back to an empty building and he's out everything he put into the first part of it. So I just want you to think about that. And David, can you comment on? Yeah, so the procedure is pretty straightforward, a little different than other more routine motions like a motion to the table. So when, you make, when the motion to amend is made, uh, he does exactly what he just did, motion to amend to, and then give him the language that you'd like it amended to one more time. There's gotta be a second. It is debatable, so you, you, have, you, you have comment on that. And then there's a vote on just that amendment. If it passes, then you're voting on it as amended. If it doesn't pass, then of course you're back to where you were. Okay. So, Can you repeat your yeah. motion? All right, <coughs> I move that this, uh, we insert at the end the statement, this conditional use permit shall expire one year from the date of issuance unless extended by an act of city council. Is that needed, David? That's it, now we need a second. Who's the second? Alderman Glad? I'll second. Discussion on that, Alderman Curry. Uh, yeah, and again, this, I, I am fully in support of, of the business, it's just um, why make a permanent situation when you don't need to make a permanent situation with this permit? A temporary or a, a year expiration solves the problem, the immediate problem. It doesn't create something that, in the end, we've already, I guess in one way, <coughs> was it 96 when, when the, uh, the uh, conditional use was first issued. We've changed it from, from C5 to what it is today. And now what we're doing is, we're actually putting it out there to change it permanently <coughs> going forward. My only issue is why make it permanent? There's just no reason to make it permanent. As soon as they open as a restaurant, the, uh, the 96 conditional use comes into, in, into play. It's already, it's, it's in play now, but I mean, it's, it's already there, so there's no further action there. The only issue would be is if you didn't get it open as a restaurant a year from whenever this is issued. Alderman Wimmer? Does a year put the screws to you? What's that? Does a year put the screws to you to really Hopefully if you run into more problems like you did yeah. originally, you're going to be in a bind. Hopefully not, but you know, you know, can't foresee things. You know. Right. I mean, one of the reasons we bought that from the bank um, <coughs> was because it was big enough for a restaurant. We only wanted a bar or tavern. We could have picked a, a smaller place in a strip mall or something like this. Liz wanted to always have a restaurant. I was always interested in restaurants, so when we started discussing it, you know, we looked at other places, you know, and I already have just a bar, which, you know, it's just a bar. I'd rather have, you know, a place with food, you know, we plan, you know, what we think is a good menu that McHenry needs. So that's why we didn't pick anything smaller. I mean, we looked at other places just in McHenry, you know, Las Palmas we looked at, and, the one that just opened up down on, uh, in west of town. Uh, <coughs> my, place. Place. What? my place. What? Yeah, my, my place. place. Mm -hmm. You know, so it wasn't that we were looking at not opening a restaurant. You know, I mean, if we wanted just a bar, we could have picked, you know, a little place like the Stella's or the Lucky Eddie's or whatever right. they are, you know, and just open a little thing and, you know, for the gaming. That's not our intent. Our intent was to have a restaurant you know so you know we don't need we didn't look at anything small just to have a bar no i don't like the idea <coughs> oh amending. amending you don't like it anymore. Alderman peterson 
If for some reason they aren't able to make the year, does he have to go back before planning and zoning to do it all over again? It'll expire, is my understanding, after a year. Unless it'll expire. Council takes further action. Yes. If the council doesn't take further action, they start they start all over. Because they back to planning and zoning and everything. Whatever the process is that they want to go through. No more questions. Only comments. Well, contrary to what was um, originally stated, I think it is creating a possible problem. Um, I don't, uh, it's just not necessary. I, uh, the building is, it's not, I know you can't always go by what's logical, but it's not logical for that just to be a bar, I don't think, uh, with the size of the building. Um, the intent is to have a restaurant. We never can imagine all the possible things that could go right or wrong in putting it together. <laughs> the petitioner has stated that that's what the intent is. And I understand that um, years could go by and, and the business is sold and it technically could uh, revert back to just a bar, but boy, that seems like it would be an awfully big waste of uh, space um, for anyone to be able to make it successful in there. I, I just, I think we're creating an issue that doesn't need to exist. So I, I stand by the original motion. Alderman Santee. Dan, you and I had a discussion about 10 minutes to 7 tonight. Mm -hmm. And I brought up a couple scenarios like this in regards to possibly looking at upwards to a year. Um, you know, uh, and, and I originally made, you know, I made this motion That's as correct. it sits. Um, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to put, I, I don't want to put the screws to you. You've been, you know, in business in town for, you know, I don't know how many years. Um, but, um, you know, even if we had a one or two year attached to this, we could always come back prior to it expiring and always extending it if need be. That would eliminate the, that planning and zoning issue, correct? I, no, I don't think that's correct. I, I think they would have to go to planning and zoning to amend no, it. He just, it, but, it, but his motion is... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Correct. Right? His motion said unless there's Council further action to the... Yeah, I apologize. Good. Okay, and if, if I may, Alderman Curry, what, the first time he made the statement, what, didn't he say two years? One year. Oh, he just said one year. I said one year. One year first. That's why I stuck with it. If somebody wanted to amend it, I could. My question is: Is you know we're, we we spent quite a bit of money just on the front part, okay? So doing the back part might take a little bit more money, just because the kitchen is going to be more money, also, you know, equipment and all that. So then maybe to your to address your concerns, say if we got it all completed and it was sold at a bigger price, you know, why would somebody buy something and then just open up the front part as a bar and not have the rest open when they're paying a big part? That'd be like somebody going in, buying in a Cadillac and just driving their Volkswagen every day. Yes, sir, I, I understand that. However, none of us control what happens way out in the future. And my concern not with you and not with the business you're opening right now is why make a permanent situation out of something that isn't going to be permanent? And again, just one for the comment I made a minute ago. If someone wants to amend the amendment in two years, you can do that. I'll be glad. Yeah, I think more than anything else, it's a procedural situation and uh, my feeling is is uh, Alder McCurry's amended uh, motion is just to show that you know the city being responsible as far as uh, as far as the fact that uh, the property at hand doesn't get out of hand um, the petitioner has every bit of intention to do as he says I'm sure he does but we don't know what the future could be six months from now who knows? I mean, you know, there could be some kind of big crunch. There, <coughs> I, I, 
hate to jinx you, but I mean, you know, you could have a, a financial crisis and have to sell, or the bank takes it back, or whatever. And then we have the conditional use on there. And again, I, if you come back, you know, uh, if it came back 11 months or 11 and a half months uh, from now and it got renewed another year, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, but to keep it hanging out there, you know, basically forever, uh, I just think uh, it's good business to do something as, as that motion has, and that's why I seconded it. And, uh, again, I guess the debate more than anything else should be on the procedures of how we're pro you know, proceeding with this rather than the, uh, just the project at hand. I, I, I just think uh, conditional uses should have some kind of a limit if they are con considered to be temporary. I mean, you know, we're, we're not talking about looking at a bar there as far as everybody's plans, you know, six months from now, eight months, less than a year from now, he hopes to have a sign out there that has a nice restaurant and, and bar type sign, but we don't know that. We don't know what, what could happen in six, eight months. <coughs> I mean, there's so many different scenarios that can happen, and that's why, uh, to some extent, I, I kind of agree that uh, it's a little risky to just take and throw out conditional uses out there. And I, again, like I said, the debate is more on procedural than, than, than anything else. That's all. Alderman Schaefer? I, I fully think that that's going to be the case, too. It's going to turn into a restaurant. I don't have a problem with it going, saying, two years. And to answer your question, Dan, there is, we do have properties that are beautiful properties that people are willing to buy and tear down right now. So you never know. You could sell it, make your money back and more and someone has that conditional use out there just for a tavern. So if you put a two-year thing on it, and then you're you're done and good to go, and then it's just everybody's happy. So I don't know. That's what I think. It's the not going to affect it. The amended motion that we're voting on before any other discussion is Alderman Curry's motion to amend it to one year, to include a okay. one-year stipulation. So we have to finish this conversation. Does it affect the liquor license at all? The license for the liquor license right now is what classification? A. So that it has no effect if it's a tavern or a restaurant, bar, or, okay. No. Is there further discussion on Alderman Curry's motion to amend? Alderman Santi, I think you had your hand up first. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I said you did. Yes, yeah, I, uh, there's no, There's no option <laughs> how to say this. We're, we're dealing with this motion now. We're not taking another motion to amend until we vote on this motion to amend. Because it's not correct. It's you not can amend and amend. You know, yeah. Alderman Curry, we have an attorney sitting right here, and if he tells me that, then I will say he can amend the amendment. Well, Last I heard, I was still yeah. running the meeting. Yeah, I've never heard of that. If you're going to do that, I'm going to throw out the motion and throw out the second. I mean, I don't know how to amend. I've never done that, I suppose. What's the they, difference? Why can't we just go ahead the motion? On your amendment. Yeah, I think you're making this very complicated. Uh, what do you what do you have more to say on no, safety? I, that's what well, that's what I wanted to ask if because I would look to Dan to say, Dan, two years out. What We're are your not thoughts? looking to Dan to say right now, I, Alderman Santee. I can't answer we my question. Have Something that we're discussing on the floor. I asked if you had any comments on Alderman Curry's motion. Yeah, I was looking for an amendment on the amendment. Uh, Attorney McArdle, what happens now? This the is, I just can't I guess believe we're making this It's the so same common. routine. If you, if you have a motion to amend the amendment and there's a second and the majority wants to do that, it's done. That would trump the original amendment, theoretically. Are you Obviously making that motion that. to amend the amendment, Alderman Santa? I can't make the motion to amend it. Is yes, you can. No, no, there's no, I, I, there's it's nothing that it's going to restrict who makes the motion. No. There's, there's nothing. There's no. No. If you want to make that motion and four of them agree, then you're in. Are you making a motion to amend Alderman Curry's motion to amend? Yes, I am. For two years. Is there a second? I'll second. Curry. Any discussion, Alderman Santi? 
I have no questions. So now that we do this one? Yeah. Alderman Glad. Yeah, so just for clarification, what we would be voting on is this, the exact, the exact language except for what instead of one year motion? to two years, correct? It's amended. We haven't voted on it yet, but if it, if it passes with the majority here, then the second amendment passes, the first one falls yeah. apart, yeah. the original motion falls, and we're then, then we'll be voting on the second amended motion. Okay. So clear? it's it's what I'm saying though is, is it's the same motion except instead of one year it's two years. Correct. Correct. Okay. Right. No. That's all that. Alderman um, okay. Schaefer. No questions. Alderman um, Curry. No questions. Alderman um, Wimmer. Nothing. Alderman um, Peterson. No. Alderman um, Kindly. Nothing. Please call the roll on the second motion to amend the amendment. Is everybody clear on what they're voting? We're on? voting on two years. Yeah. Two years doesn't have to go back to. Just to go back clarification, to Dennis, I please. I, I, I don't need the theatrics. Read the motion if you want. Uh, you know Shall what, I read the motion? let's just calm down and get through this, all right? Shall I read the motion? Please. The amended motion on the motion is that the conditional use shall expire two years from the date of issuance unless extended by council. Everyone clear? Please call the roll. Alderman Santi? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Condon? No. Alderman Wimmer? No. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Peterson? No. Motion carried. You understand, Dan, that it's a two, it's- No, 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 I'm sorry. That's, that's, that just simply means there's now the matter that's before you is a motion to approve his conditional use with a two-year limitation as he's just announced. Now you're at the merits of his matter before you. Now, do we have, do have another motion? No, you have that. It's on the floor. All right. You've already got it on the floor. Any discussion no on that right. motion? Please call the roll. Um, I'm a little confused. Do I call it? Is it the same uh, it's, motion? It's approval of the amended motion. It's amended motion. Okay, so um, I'll start with Alderman Santi. Yes. Alderman Curry. Yes. Alderman Condon. Yes. Alderman Glab. Yes. Alderman Wimmer. No. Alderman Schaefer. Yes. Alderman Peterson. No. Motion carried. So we have two years to operate as a tavern yeah. while you complete the restaurant. Without coming back to council. Without coming back to council. And you have to come back. <laughs> you know, before that two years to make sure everything's perfect. Okay. The next item is a motion to approve a sign variance requested by Uprooted Restaurant at 2816 West Route 120 to utilize current non-conforming sign for no longer than one year. Look, uh, Doug? Or no, Ross, Ross, I'm sorry. sorry. Ross. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, community Development Department received a sign variance request to allow the current non-conforming sign located at 2816 Illinois Route 120 Uprooted restaurant to be utilized until the restaurant portion of the business is open or one year from approval, whichever is less. Looking for a motion on this item, Alderman Santi. I will make that motion as presented. Is there a second? Alderman Schaefer? Second. Discussion, Alderman Santi. I have no questions. Alderman uh, Glad? No, I think it's pretty well spelled out. Alderman Kind, uh, I'm sorry, Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? No questions. Alderman Wimmer? No. Alderman Peterson? Uh, no questions. Alderman Condon? Well, I think this is ridiculous. If we amended the last one to two years, then the, this one should be two years. So I guess I'm asking for an amendment to make it two years because it needs, as far as I'm concerned, if the restaurant isn't able to open in a year, then the sign, it, it's linked with the, the previous issue. So I would amend it to two years. Is there a second on that? Motion to amend, Alderman Wimmer. Second. Discussion on the amended motion, Alderman Condon. Just what I said. Alderman Santi. 
So this will match up with the motion just made and we'll have it in for two years, correct? Correct. I have no other comments. Alderman Glad. I just want to see that restaurant opened up and see that business running like crazy and uh, all this will be for naught, but uh, I have nothing. Alderman Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? No questions. Alderman Wimmer? No. Alderman Peterson? No questions. Please call the roll. This is, to, this is to amend the motion. <coughs> then we have to vote on the motion. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Santi? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Who will repeat the roll? Alderman Condon? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion carries. So now we will be voting on Alderman Condon's motion to approve a sign variance requested by Uprooted Restaurant at 2816 West Route 120 to utilize current non-conforming sign for no longer than two years. Any discussion on that? Please call the roll. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Motion carried. So Dan, you have two years with the sign. Next item on the agenda is a motion to approve an ordinance authorizing a variance to the off-street parking and loading requirements for McHenry Marketplace Shopping Center at 4400 West Elm Street. Doug? Thank you, Mayor. Council is being asked to consider a variance from the off-street parking and loading requirements for McHenry Marketplace Shopping Center to allow a Stella's Place Cafe at 4400 West Elm Street, Unit 10. Thank you. Looking for a motion on this item. Alderman Condon? I will make the motion to approve as presented. Is there a second? Alderman Wimmer? Second. Discussion, Alderman Condon. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I just, I just wanted to state that while I completely agree uh, with the concerns of many people in the community that there are certainly a lot of um, uh, Video gaming. However, I think what the community does not understand is that we don't we don't regulate that. And if it, if there is a liquor license approved, then they automatically have the ability to do the video gaming. So um, that's really beyond what we can do anything about. I I think that there's there seems to be plenty of parking available in that location. I. They've gone there, or I go by there quite often, and, and there's there's always parking <coughs> available. So I, I don't really have a concern about this at that location. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Alderman Condon. Alderman Santee? <coughs> Was this part of the issue previously when we discussed this also with the parking? The last time it came up because it got voted down? This was not, the, the request at this replaced. location was not the same applicant as last time. But it was, it's what, right next door same to the yeah, yeah, same shopping center? Same space, different app. Yeah. Um, no, I have no, I have no other questions. Oh, you glad? You can, you can throw the numbers out there as far as what, what they talk about of uh, the required amount of parking spaces uh, within a shopping center. Um, when you see that what they call the hypermarket uh, type of businesses now, uh, Walmart, uh, Myers, and, and all that, people look for convenience. And um, even if the the shopping center has parking that goes all the way out to 120, nobody wants to park up by 120. Uh, I know there's been many a times that we've stopped at China Buffet in the past, and. Uh, first two full rows are, 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 are full completely, and you, you wind up having to go all the way to the third one. Um, there's concerns out there as far as the fact that uh, you, we have already in, reduced the amount of required space with Chase, um, even though they didn't meet today's standards before that. And now we want to reduce it more. And the thing is, is about shopping centers is uh, if they're going to thrive and be vibrant and build up their businesses, they have to have the convenience for the customers. 
and reducing parking spaces is not the way to go. Uh, I've also feel that <coughs> excuse me, I made that statement uh, several meetings ago as far as the fact that we're starting to look in the town and all we see is video gaming coming and opening up. And whoever made that comment, uh, the fact that uh, oh, another video gaming place opening up. You know, it's like, come on, haven't we got enough of them? And we do have enough of them, in my opinion. And again, that's my opinion. But the way I feel is, is that the mix of businesses that you have in your community are so important, not just with the service to our residents, but when we have potential economic development uh, people coming in, is as far as whether they're builders or they are um, bu you know, business owners that would like to relocate, first thing they do is they go through the town. And what do we reflect? That we've got a lot of bars and we've got a lot of video gaming? You know, just because this is an empty building, you know, do we just squeeze another video gaming in there? I, I just don't see it. Plus, we have numerous amount of residents uh, that live in that area that don't want to see it there as well. I mean, there's a lot of negatives to it. And I just think, uh, I know we had asked for a committee of the whole to discuss uh, video gaming uh, as far as the fact that what limitations do we have, uh, you know, what kind of controls, and what do we want to see our community look like? And I just think uh, to some extent I find it very, very difficult to support any more video gaming coming in. And again, we can't control the video gaming license, but we, we control, and this was told to us by the attorney years back when we first approved uh, having video gaming in our town, and that's the fact that the only way we could control it would be by, a, by liquor licenses. And I think that's part of the discussion that maybe we need to have as far as the committee of the whole. Um, where are we giving out liquor licenses? I mean, you know, to restaurants and bigger establishments, or are we going to have little cubby holes all, all through town that we're going to just keep giving out liquor licenses to? And I think that's something that the council needs to make a decision on someday. And it needs to be discussed at council. I, I believe uh, Oliver Curry brought that up uh, several meetings ago. And uh, there were a couple of us that agreed with it. So there were three aldermen. And we were talking about a committee as a whole, not, not for a committee, but that it would be a discussion at council. And that's where I feel it needs to go. And that's all I got. Alderman Schaefer? Um, there are several items with Alderman Glad that I do agree with. One was that we were going to, this was one of the items we were going to discuss, or that I had thought about discussing personally. But I just want to get the facts straight. We had, um, going back to when we first were looking at this, didn't we, Doug, have 40, we had said we had 40 establishments that could qualify? Wasn't that the number? Vaguely, yes, I recall at the time. Okay, that's what I recall too. And we, I think we're, we're 29 or less currently. So of our existing businesses, I, I really, again, I thought when we discussed this at the time, it was to get those existing businesses who wanted it to do it. I know there are some who are still trying, and I know that there is several existing businesses that have it that I that have approached me about the fact of the same thing about how many just the cafe style places we would be willing to open up and we've never we've never put a number on that uh, we've always just said let the liquor license uh, you know handle it so to speak so um, you know we Stellis has a great location operating and over in my ward that has done uh, very well and I I I really don't mind seeing it, you know, or having one here, I just, I just, again, aside from this one motion, which, which coming to us, I think is, is just like trying to, to shove it in there a little bit, but I, I definitely would like to see us at least talk about that at the council level. But the, t the two things I wanted to mention, one was existing businesses, uh, first, so to speak, and, and the cafe type style thing, we, we probably need to look at maybe having a, a, a number. I don't know if you can put a number on that, but that's just what I wanted to get out publicly right now. Thank you. Alvin Curry? Uh, yeah, I, 
I agree with most of what Paul McGlad and Ronald Schaefer just mentioned. Uh, just, just a couple of comments. Uh, you know, again, I think this is, and I brought up before, this is a subject that we need to discuss as a, as a group in total, uh, and we need to look at um, can we or do we want to put rules around how we do it as some other communities have done. Um, so I will have problems supporting this. And even though we don't certainly issue a video gaming license, we still promote what happens by our actions. And so if we act uh, to approve variances around these type of facilities, then it's in effect we're, we're, uh, we're giving our approval. Uh, and I do note that in the past, at this very same location, and it's been mentioned I guess, <coughs> just three years ago, um, it was turned down. There may have been a, it was a different uh, company, um, but it was comments that were made about uh, concern with the location establishment in the area. I think there were resident uh, comments back then, and there are resident comments again. I believe there's probably 38 or 40 names on that list that uh, we have in front of us. So. Um, so I have trouble supporting that and look forward to the, the day we actually sit down and discuss it as a committee as a whole. Thank you. It, it pains me to say this, but I agree with quite a few things on over here. That's what usually happens. But uh, yeah, I, I think we are at, um, at some sort of a limit on these cafes. I've been into a couple of them and they, they don't constantly anything other than a place to go gamble. Some don't even have food in them. There, there's place. I, I just think we have enough. Um, Peterson? Um, I was not in favor of three years ago, and I don't think I'll support it at this point. Um, uh, a couple points. Well, I, I agree. I don't necessarily um, I don't so I've never been in any of them. I never had any intention of going in any of them because it's just not my thing. Um, I don't know how successful they are, but I assume that if um, they're, the, the people that have brought, come forward with them um, have done market research and that there's, um, that they believe that they can make a success out of it. Um, that said, I think it's a whole other discussion if we want to like we did years ago, put a moratorium on um, ba uh, banking, financial, financial institutions in certain locations. I certainly wouldn't have a problem if we did something like that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that right now. And so I, I guess I have a hard time um, limiting something that we allow by ordinance. And I, and I understand that even though we allow it doesn't mean that we should approve it. A couple points I did want to just um, backtrack to about one of, because really this motion is about the variance for the off street parking and specifically about that regarding what um, Alderman Gleb had said, you know, that sometimes you have to walk a couple of aisles over. Well, I think um, to like Applebee's where I've gone and I've had to walk four rows back. I, I don't, I think if you're going in to eat, having a little exercise is a good thing. So I don't, I guess that in and of itself, um, I don't have a concern with. Um, and uh, the other point I wanted to make up is, I, I hope everyone on the council is aware that, that we just approved um, a tavern for uprooted um, restaurant, and they have the ability to put video gaming in there too. I mean, that wasn't even a discussion when we had, when we talked about that, that um, item. So, I think, and I, I, there certainly is a difference between a bar restaurant and some of these pop-up cat video cafes. Um, I, I'm not trying to make light of that, but again, that goes back to, do we want to limit uh, maybe the, the cafe type locations? But we, have, we don't right now. And there is a business that is willing to come in and um, until we do anything further, I guess I, I good luck to them, I, as far as I'm concerned. Who's next? It's not Jerry's, which side? Okay, so has everyone had an opportunity to talk? Yes? Yes. Any other discussion? I do. 
it, and that, I think, Jerry, to your point, that that's what makes this difficult because that other location was already an established restaurant at one point. Now it's reverting back to that. Its conditional use is, was set up for that, so to speak. So that, again, just, again, speaking from constituents and, and myself is just that the cafe style is, when you cut through everything, it's there, it's there for video game. It's not, no one's going there to eat. <laughs> if they do, it's because they're winning at gambling and they've got some money to spend on food that's there. It's not set up for that. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's where I think, even though this is a parking thing it, uh, that we're discussing now, um, we have to talk about that. The other thing I wanna say is that it does, and this happens a lot in my area, it falls into that, the people don't want it in their backyard, but you ask, there's people who have signed this petition who live right behind um, one of our best restaurants, Village Squire, and it's there. So right. when you think about it, it's like, come on. Well, you know, that's, uh, you don't have to answer, I'm just saying, that's just that's just what happens. Out there, uh, no, you no, you think not. No, no, I'm just, right now, I, no. keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm sorry, my comment is the fact that when we look at that stuff, I you have to take the, the people there into account, but then you also have to look at the facts, and the facts are we have a very nice restaurant there with video gaming and have had no issues with it either, so that's all I have. Alderman Santee? I just want a further comment. I don't live in Cotton. You hit home run on one of your statements. You made the statement about um, this is in front of us, and yet we look at what we've discussed approximately about a, a couple months ago in regards to having a, hopefully a, a committee of the whole in regards to talking about this gaming thing. So now we're kind of in the middle of a rock and a hard place where we're looking at these each individual places and having to make a decision, yet when we, we, we know the public record that we've already asked to kind of sit down and discuss this, but yet they're all coming in front of us still. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I guess we have to vote on just this one item as, as it goes along, but I, it's all wrong. That's it. That's it. That's all I want to say. Further comments? Alderman Peterson? I mean, this is a parking variance, and as I understand it, this particular shopping center does not have nearly the number of parking spaces they need for the number of square feet in this particular shopping center? As a whole, right, correct. That, that's the whole thing, yeah, correct. Right there. And, and you know, you think about winter time when they have the snow piled up in those big mounds up there, there's even less parking, so. I mean. Christmas trees out in the lot. And the Christmas trees out in the lot, yeah. So, well, I didn't say we didn't. <laughs> but, uh, and I'm not saying we, we wouldn't approve it again, but still, you're, you're adding another, trying to add another business that puts even more pressure on the parking. So. Further comments? The motion on the floor is to approve an ordinance authorizing a variance to the off-street parking and loading requirements for McHenry Marketplace Shopping Center at 4400 West Elm Street. Please call the roll. Alderman Condon. Yes. Alderman Weber. No. Alderman Santee. No. Alderman Schaefer. No. Alderman Peterson. No. Alderman Glad. No. Alderman Curry. No. Motion is denied. Based on that motion, item number 10 was conditioned upon the approval of that, so we won't discuss that or take any action on the request for a liquor license. Um, next item on the agenda is the mayor's statement and reports. I have nothing this evening. Are there any committee reports? Seeing none, any staff reports? The only thing that I would add is that the Blues Brews and Barbecue uh, Festival is this weekend at Peterson Park, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Also, so the next event. concert in the park. Go ahead. No, go ahead. That's to say our regular concert series has completed. However, now we'll move into uh, some additional concerts that actually go through the end of September. Uh, this Thursday will be Larry Reidbach. Uh, next Thursday, John Todd. And the following Thursday, New Odyssey. Thank you. Uh, any other staff reports? Any future agenda items? Confirm. Alderman yes. Santee? No. Good. 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 In regards to, um, can we? 
can we set a date in regards to the discussion? I'm going to about comment on that. Yes, but at a past meeting, it was asked for if you wanted to send it to the Community Development Committee, and the majority of the council said yes. Mm -hmm. That's what we have done. We will schedule that meeting because I don't want to hear about it anymore. Anything else? All in Sandy? Can we look at scheduling that as a committee of the whole instead of a committee? Yes, I said yes, we will. Yeah, do that. But Thank it's you. still going to community development on the 29th. Because it's already been posted and it's going. Thank other you. comments? Other future agenda items? Seeing none, looking for a motion to adjourn. Alderman Wimmer? Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Alderman Santi? I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.